Hi everyone, Alina from Eximate Mastery here. Today I'd like to talk about rounded walls. And you're thinking, why would I need to know how to round a wall? But I bet you that one time when you're out there scoping a large loss or a big residential home that's very custom, you'll be like, man, I'm so glad I remember how to round the walls. So I know you'll thank me later. Anyhow, uh, a couple of our subscribers to the YouTube channel have asked me to create a video on rounded walls. It's actually really fun to do. There's a couple different ways that we can make it really custom and it's uh, a lot of fun. So let's go take a look at how you can round walls in Sketch in Xactimate. Here I am in Xactimate. I'm in the sketch part of a estimate or a project. And I've already sketched some rooms here that we are going to make rounded or arced walls on this dining room here. So in Xactimate, they are called actually arced walls, not rounded walls. So that's what we're going to be looking for. And I'm going to arc this wall right here where we have a wall opening. As you can see, we already have the missing wall there created. So I'm going to click on the wall, not the room. Okay, so I'm clicking on the wall specifically, then going to the properties, that little hand hovering over the piece of paper, and you're gonna look for arced wall. And normally it says arced wall no, but I was messing around with some settings. So normally when you come in here, arced wall says no, we're gonna switch that to yes. And when you do that, you'll see arc becomes available down below in your properties. So when it says no, it's hidden. You don't see them at all. But once you turn it to yes, now we've got the properties that we can work with to make the arc. So the arc distance is going to be the radius, if you will, of the arc. So if you laid a chalk line down from end to end of the wall and then measured from the chalk line to the middle of the arc, that is going to be your arc distance. So for this example, I'm gonna make it a foot just to make it easy and simple. And when you change that arc distance, notice that my wall curved inward. And that's fine, no big deal. It's gonna always go either way, which way or the other. But what I can do is take that wall handle, the little blue square there, left click hold and drag it the opposite direction to make it bow outward one foot. We can make it as extreme as we'd like, actually. You, uh, playing around with this, we can have a lot of fun here to really exaggerate and show you how the arc works. So if you had laid a chalk line from here to here, and then measured the peak of the distance, if you will, the peak of the curve, that's how you're gonna get that arc distance practically in the program that you're gonna need. So I'm gonna round that up to three foot six here, just for fun. Now let's take a look at that in 3D. We've got a nice curved wall there. It's gonna measure all the linear foot for the baseboards and the square foot for the paint. So that's awesome. Got a nice curved wall. Now, what if this wall was curved around the corner right here? Instead of the whole wall being curved, I've seen in some 90s houses, actually some really super modern houses will have this too, where they'll curve the wall going you know, into the hallway or an adjoining room. So in order to create a rounded wall or a curved wall in that effect, you do wanna use your vertex tool. So the vertex tool will help you create a more angular or a more tight rounded wall uh, compared to rounding a whole wall like we did here with the dining room opening. So using the vertex tool, I can just click there just as an example, and we're gonna create just a 45 degree. And then I can take this wall that I've just created, go to its properties and arc it. And let's say we want, I don't know, six inches here. It always bows the wrong way, not sure why, but I can pull it out and make it a nice curved wall in this instance. So using that vertex tool in conjunction with the arced wall, you can really create some great custom spaces. And you know when it's necessary to make several breaks in the wall, you can do that with a vertex tool and really get this rounded wall, that custom look that you may encounter out there with those higher end homes. Um, you know, some like 30s homes will have weird stuff like this, and uh, it's always good to know how to create that in Xactimate. So that is rounded or arced walls. If you like this video, please be sure to press the like button below. That lets me know that I should create more sketch topics like this. Also, please subscribe to our channel. We release new content every week and really like to keep the good information flowing here. So if you'd like that in your newsfeed, go ahead and subscribe. 
My name is Alina Wilson with Eximate Mastery. For more information on what we do, we train contractors how to use Xactimate for supplementing and other fun things. Go check out our website at www.xmatemastery.com. Go try out some rounded or arced walls, guys, and uh, I'll see you next week.